Morning everyone and welcome back to the show. We've got an end wall to put up. We've got rain coming probably in the next few hours. It rained all night so we've got a ton of mud. I'm really glad back here we got that side of roof um, on and then we got that wall back there done yesterday and that allowed us to basically pull all the machinery out of there and we don't have to go back there again with machinery we just got to do some corners uh, when we get to that point but for the most part we're done back there with machinery which is a good thing because this time of year in the spring uh, that's probably never going to see the sun again and it will take a while to dry. Uh, so what we got to do here is we're getting our steel sorted. So we're going to go through, uh, they stack that from shortest to longest. That way when it gets shipped, it's very, I guess, sturdy and structural. The short guys on the bottom help support the taller guys. But uh, we've got to run our house wrap on the back end wall. It's a little breezy today, but as soon as we kind of turn on this corner, and we get around to the back side of the building, the breeze definitely calms down because I think this wall that we got up the other day is helping us uh, block the wind. We got like this northeast wind, so it's kind of coming through. And well, you can look at these trees up here. You can kind of see those trees in the house right back here is barely moving because we're getting a little bit of a windbreak. I'm just afraid of what the sheets are gonna do way up there at the peak if we've got any sort of wind that's blowing through the other end wall coming at us. But we won't really know until we start hanging the house wrap. Yeah, once you put it up, it's up, right? So uh, we don't have anything blocking it until the steel gets put up and gives it some structure behind it. So yeah, this thing's gonna start closing up a little bit. Definitely hoping they unpost our road so we can get a cement truck in. We've got some concrete piers to make over here for our porch and that way we can start working on this front wall. Remember, we're gonna save this end wall here until probably the last thing, and we'll get that closed up, because I don't wanna open up the garage in order to kind of connect our building until the last, last possible moment. We're not going to go ahead and do that steel today. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but it is super windy. You can kind of see if I push on this wrap. See that? There's a lot of pressure coming this way. And the problem is as we get to the top, all that air is kind of forcing its way out. And I just don't really want to have to hang house wrap. But that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to work on this wainscoat. And what we've got to do is cut this pink insulation down. The insulation is all the way up to the top of the wall. And the client wanted insulation on the inside, the outside. He's gonna do a radiant floor, spray foam on the wall. So very conscious about energy efficiency. So we're gonna to try to minimize the amount of insulation we cut, but we gotta cut it down low enough at least to do our trim. I might need glasses, huh? It probably wouldn't hurt. We'll see what it, we'll see what it looks like. Kyle, hold up. Woo! Look at you, dude. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Is it in my face, too, or no? A little bit. <sighs> Yikes, that stuff is kind of gross. I probably should have had a respirator on and 
eye protection, everything. But now that we got that cut off, we're gonna go ahead and we've got a nice little stick that Greg made. It's, uh, what'd you get it, Greg, exact dimension? No, it's a little, like a hair bigger. Just a hair big so that we can stick it up into this trim that we've already shot on with the laser and then set our base trim right on that stick so we don't have to get the laser all set up again. We've already lasered this one once, so hopefully, uh, I guess we're gonna find out if this is a bad idea or a good idea. I think it'll be all right, though. Is this a good idea, Greg? Because any time that stick is off on angle, we got pretty good eyes that we know it's level. I mean, it's not that far off. Okay, we're not gonna nail it for sure. We're gonna, oh, yeah, we'll tack it up we're gonna tack it up, bro. Just hit everywhere that there's a, a nail. Dude, just go into the middle there. Look at my knees. Why is there pink stuff everywhere? I don't know, Kyle. Wait, to fracture your rib? Yeah. Oh yeah, think about it, dude. We'll fracture it. Then I will I'll pay for your hospital bills to just go ahead and remove that rib entirely. But what if it's like one up here? Like what if it's No no, like we'll, up we'll top? be selective. We'll be selective. Don't worry, I got you. I wouldn't do that to you, bro. I know. No, seriously, look down. I already know. Did you already look? I'm a, I already know. Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say that that didn't work out slick as, I don't know, I had nothing, I had nothing. <laughs> good idea, Greg, that was uh, Greg, That was all Greg's idea. Nice work, Greg, that worked out pretty good. That line is as straight as can be. Well, it's as straight as the upper line is. It's perfect. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get our marks laid out for uh, the wainscoat, and we'll get that put in. I just, uh, we are really lucky because the rain is coming down up above us, but because the wind is blowing so hard over this roof, it's totally missing where we're standing right now. So we're in a great spot, but definitely, definitely not gonna be running any upper steel anytime soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a level, and we'll level down on these things. I like to have a level line. Same. How far is your tape, 35? Yep. All right, here I got it. One, 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 four, one. Seven more. Per pile. Please don't let it drop in the mud. Let me see, let me see that one real quick. Hoping you hold the pile. Good. They stay pretty good. Move forward a little bit. I better not go much further, huh? Nope. Just hold that there for a minute.
Hungry, dude. That worked out pretty good with the cutting of the stuff, huh? The bottom? Oh, yeah, yeah. Richard should be happy with that. Well, that wasn't too bad. We whipped that out pretty darn quick. Teamwork makes the dream work. We got this back end wall wainscot done. I would totally go on the north wall if it wasn't full of rain now because it's coming off of the roof and dropping down. So I don't know, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat, evaluate the weather and make a determination on what we're gonna do because we're kind of running out of things we can do until we can dig this porch pier in. It's actually gotten a little calmer, Greg. No? No. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll just uh, wrap this into another video or go into tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm an optimist. Greg's a pessimist. I think something like that. Let's go. Let's go get something to eat.